What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be doing another series review. We are going to be talking about Van Helsing. Now, <clears throat> I'm not talking about the movie. I'm actually talking about the series. If you guys have never seen the series, it was originally starring on Sci-Fi, which I do believe now you can watch it on Netflix, which again, if you guys have never seen it, I do recommend if you like anything that's got drama, horror, thriller, um... Again, there's a lot of craziness. Uh, you may like this show. Um, it's basically based around uh, Vanessa, who is played by uh, Kelly Overton. She is the descendant of Van Helsing. And she is, throughout the entirety of the show, she's in somewhat of a coma. You have the one by the name of Axel, who is a soldier. He was tasked to look over her. And when she finally wakes up after from a vampire bite, any vampire that bites her, she has the ability to turn them back to human. And you go back to what life was before, I would say, the vampire apocalypse. And you see that there's different sections that have been taken over by the vampires. There is uh, something that is the uh, the main vampire, which we later find out is Dracula. Or the female version of Dracula, which was kind of funny. Um, but... We see all the things that Vanessa goes through, especially find out she had a sister, she was adopted, where her lineage comes from, and all these other characters, and going through what it's been like since before this apocalypse to now, and how life was, and what life could be during this purge of you know, immortals from at night, and there's some that can, can survive during the day, but not for very long. Now, the entirety of the show is very interesting. Some of it I actually enjoyed, uh, the whole surrealness of what it would be like during a vampire apocalypse. Now, some of it was kind of cringy. Some of it was kind of annoying, just by the way they were kind of wanting to do it, because when it was just, when they got introduced to Vanessa and her sister, it made a lot of sense, and then when they try to say it was two other kids that were technically almost like the daughters of uh, Vanessa, it didn't make a lot of sense. So, they had to go from one area to another. It was kind of like, I would say, if you mix Supernatural mixed with The Walking Dead. It, it's the best way I know how to describe this show. And... Again, could the show have been better? I believe so. Some of the characters were not that interesting. Some of the characters were. Some characters that they needed to kill off several episodes or seasons ago, they didn't do this. So there, there will be times, like I said, that there will be a lot of moments where you're like, why isn't this character killed? Or why is this character still around? Because Vanessa has the abilities of almost like a vampire, but she's not she is very fast she's strong she can heal she can turn vampires back to human and she has connections with uh the ones that she's turned back so overall it is a very interesting show um it kind of gives you that weirdness of what it would be like if you lived in this world and also what would happen if this world was real um it really does give you that survival type of the fittest type of uh feel to the show it gives you a lot of what happened several years ago or 100 years ago or even more about these some of these characters that's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years or some that's been around since the 20s some that's been around since the 1800s or even a lot earlier than that some of the characters that were enemies <clears throat> that you want to kill off later become allies to vanessa and actually became one of my favorite characters which was uh kind of shocking and i think it was uh if i remember I might have to look at the cast, but so, uh, I want to say Jack was a good character. Julius was an amazing character. Ivory, when Ivory and Julius became human again, it they became my favorite of the uh, two survivors, I guess you'd say, because not a lot of the characters you think are that will survive do not survive. Some do, some don't. Some that get their happy ending, others do not. So it just all depends, I guess, on what your stance is of these characters in this show. But if you've never seen this show, go check it out. It is on Netflix. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the channel, subscribe and leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you, as always, on the next one.